Welcome back all the fans and followers of space fiction. The International Space Station is a giant step for humanity in conquering space. It's a station created from several connected modules. But what are the risks of this design and what should a safe space station look like? Let's look at what we have first and what we already know from the past events. For a crew survival, the number one priority is to maintain an atmosphere suitable for life. So the worst thing that can happen is the crew compartment decompression. Such problem has occurred several times. In 1997, the cargo ship Progress M34 crashed into the Mir orbital station, damaging the structure of the Spectrum module. In order for the station to remain habitable, the hatch to the module had to be closed immediately to prevent full decompression. The crew was only seconds away from death. In 2018, a small hole was discovered in the Soyuz MS-9 crew cabin connected to the ISS station. The leak was successfully sealed with the use of a repair kit based on an epoxy sealant. The compression of an atmosphere in the space station is a problem when the whole crew is fighting for their lives. The problem with current space stations built from modules is the fact that entire space inside the station and the connected ships is open. For example, if the compression occurs on the ISS and the crew fails to quickly identify the location of the leak, the crew must leave the station and the station will probably remain uninhabitable forever. If there is an explosive decompression in one of the modules caused, for example, by a collision of a space station with a larger object, the crew will most likely not be able to close the module and move to the rescue cabin. The consequences would be fatal in such a case. The space stations in the future should therefore include the following systems and rules. The single modules should remain permanently closed by intelligent doors. During routine operation, this door should be easy and quick to open, but at the same time hermetically sealed. When a pressure change is detected in the module, the door should lock automatically, but should alert the crew inside and allow them to escape in an emergency. The station computer should check and evaluate the state of an atmosphere in every single module in real time. Minor pressure differences caused by the crew activity should be balanced by using the pressurization system of the modules. If a module is locked due to decompression, this door could be opened on command to repair the module. At the same time, it would be necessary for most modules to be built in two rows. This means that if one module were to be closed, access to the rest of the space station would not be restricted. It should be possible to access each module using two or three doors. The main control of the station should not be located only in one module too, but should be either duplicated or remotely accessible from each module of the station. Probably the most demanding change in the construction of space station would be possibility to disconnect and replace the module in the middle of the station. This is not possible today without the complete disconnection of the station into two parts. Perhaps the most suitable solution would be if the supporting structure of the station would not be provided by modules, but the modules will be connected to the supporting structure. In that case they would be independent and their replacement would not disrupt the entire structure of the station. So these are just a few of the most important improvements to the space stations that could be used to build the next generation stations in the future. The result would be increased safety as well as longer station life. Because the question is not whether a collision with a larger object with the station will occur, but when will it occur again. And we should build space stations so that collisions do not disrupt the entire space station and protect as many crew members as possible. 
If you have other interesting ideas on how the space station can be improved in the near future, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to click a subscribe button if you want to see other amazing videos from the world of space fiction.